Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com in your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Wednesday morning forecast update. Of course, a rough ride as far as the weather in the Arkeltex yesterday. You can see all of the hail reports. We had a few wind reports as well, but the majority of the severe weather reports in the last 24 hours have been for some large hail. In fact, we had some golf ball, even baseball-sized hail with some of the cells that were out there yesterday. So I know a lot of folks uh, waking up to some damage either to their cars or maybe uh, some of your homes as well and unfortunately we will see that chance of seeing some scattered severe storms again today and hail will continue to be the main threat but we can see some storms with some wind out there as well but as of early this morning uh, the thunderstorm threat is winding down for us but the pattern remains relatively unchanged again today we still have this uh, frontal boundary kind of located north of I-20 so that's where we saw the majority of the storms yesterday we still have this low uh, that's over near the Dallas area kind of churning up these storms as well and all that warm and humid air feeding into the system is uh, resulting in that chance for those scattered storms again this afternoon so ingredients are still there to see some severe weather but our severe weather window is starting to narrow a bit the uh, storm prediction center they have that level three enhanced risk outlook for much of Arkansas Louisiana and at least a few of our counties here from Marshall up through uh, Cass County in the Texarkana area again that means numerous severe storms expected and that is our level three threat here and uh, there is some uncertainty whether or not the atmosphere can recharge enough to see some storms later this morning uh, but likely we will see some storms at some point either late morning or afternoon and uh, maybe multiple rounds again continuing into tonight I think I lost count of the rounds of storms that we had yesterday I think there were some areas that probably saw uh, at least three to four severe thunderstorms at one point uh, it was just kind of relentless through the day yesterday so we're starting out this morning with temperatures in the 70s and likely we'll wind up in the 80s as well as the 90s. The areas that miss the rain today will likely wind up in the 90s, but where we see those scattered storms will be in the 80s uh, again for much of the day. And we can't rule out, uh, in addition to the wind and hail threat, maybe some localized flash flooding as well. So we're going to take a look at your Robbins Toyota feature cast here. Again, today's one of those days. Uh, we're not really sure how it's all going to play out, but we know there will likely be some storms here that develop at some point, kind of late this morning, this afternoon, and these will kind of move through the same way the storms did yesterday yesterday kind of moving west to east across the region here so these very well could bring some hail uh, by the late morning today now if this morning round does not come to fruition then the fuel will but kind of be building for these thunderstorms this afternoon so if you don't get any rain this morning uh, your chance of seeing some scattered storms will be higher as we go through the afternoon today and we will probably see these scattered storms linger uh, into the overnight hours once again before we can kind of close the door on the severe weather threat uh, once we get into tomorrow morning wanted to show you our in-house model here from uh, Robin Soy to Featurecast which does show again some scattered storms this morning but you'll notice it doesn't really show anything this afternoon before uh, bringing that final round of storms in late tonight so that's why there is some uncertainty to how this will all play out but both models kind of pointing to the storms developing by the late morning so uh, just be ready for that today as we could see some large hail again as well as some high wind gusts with the uh, thunderstorms that are out there today we will dry out tomorrow and tomorrow's the day we'll likely uh, see the heat return here I'll get to that in just a moment but as far as your uh, temperatures today will likely be in the 80s and 90s here that warm air you probably heard the saying the warm air holds more water very true today so we'll see these storms that pop up uh, quickly drop a quick inch or two of rain here so a lot of these areas yesterday uh, saw over two to three inches of rain so if we tack on another inch or two today we could see some flooded roadways uh, some of the creeks will be taken on high water again so uh, just look out out for some flooded roadways especially for that afternoon commute today but this will all kind of wind down tonight as well as tomorrow uh, heat will build in tomorrow we'll be in the mid 90s Thursday if you kind of factor in that we've had a lot of rain this week the grounds fairly uh, damp here and that will lead to a lot of humidity at the surface so you take the temperatures in the mid 90s the high humidity tomorrow will get a heat index close to 105 so I uh, could see some heat advisories late this week and into the weekend still uh, in the upper 90s this weekend but uh, likely some triple-digit heat on the way early next week.